Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a fall makeup look. 99% of this video is my makeup routine for the fall. The only thing that I don't do on a regular basis is the eyeshadow. Usually I just put, you know, like a very neutral color and call it a day. But today I went all out with the fall colors. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. First, we're going to start off with moisturizer, and I actually just picked this one up yesterday at Sephora, and it is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. So I've actually been having my eye on this for a while now because whenever I go to Sephora, I try to test it out on my hand, and it is insane how moisturizing it is like i feel like i leave the store like 20 minutes later and it still is very moisturized so i finally purchased it because i ran out of my old moisturizer and this is what we're going to be using today so i feel like i've definitely tried a lot of gel based moisturizers and for me that's not enough but it has the feeling of a gel moisturizer but it's like way more intense like it's kind of like a mix between a heavy cream and a gel moisturizer if you guys have super dry skin, I think this is a product that you should definitely look into. So for foundation, I actually went back to an old foundation that I used like last year, I think. And it is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I'm in the color 370, but I'm going to be honest, I think it is a little bit orange. And right now I'm kind of pale in the face, but I feel like my body is tanner than my face. So overall it matches in the end. So I'd definitely rather be a little bit tanner in the face. I honestly don't know why I stopped using this foundation. It's super matte. I mean, it might not be the best for these upcoming winter months because my skin's gonna be already so dry. But in the summer, I'm definitely gonna repurchase this in my color during the summer. The next thing I'm gonna do is fill in my brows. And actually, I fill in my brows first usually, but I kind of forgot that I do that first and I just got so excited about my moisturizer and foundation, I guess. I'm trying to do more natural brows, but I also like to clean them up with concealer later. So I'm going to do that today. So first you wanna line the arch, then fill in the tail, then go to the bottom and just start making hair strokes and then start to fill in the front. So this is my filled in brow and this is my not filled in brow. The best brow trick is to clean up your brows with concealer or your foundation. So I'm gonna go in with this Fenty foundation and take it on a really, really small brush. It kind of has like a dome like shape so it's easy to go in that little arch. I also like doing this in the middle of my eyebrows because it helps it to be precise and then just the tops of them a little bit. So this step is actually necessary if you're wearing, you know, a little bit too orange of makeup like I am today because you obviously don't want your real skin color showing through. So this is definitely an important step. So that brush was kind of streaky, so you definitely want to beauty blender everything out. So this is my brows once they are cleaned up. So next we can move into concealer, and I bet everyone can guess what I'm going to be using. It's the Tarte Shape Tape, and I am in the color Tan Sands. I feel like I have a really specific way of blending out my concealer. So I start in the middle, I kind of like tap it a bit, and then bring it down, bring it up bring it down, and then start bringing it out, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add the excess to my nose. So we gotta work fast. The next step is powder, and I'm using the Peach Perfect Powder. And I've actually been using this for a while and just recently rebought the Derma Blend Translucent Powder. But now that I have both of them side by side, I kind of like this better just because I feel like the Dermablend translucent powder, like it's very hard to like wipe off your face, but I feel like this is way easier. So we're gonna use this today. So I'm gonna put it right under the eyes, pretty much wherever we put our concealer. I'm gonna drag it down on the sides of the nose. I'm gonna put it on my eyelids and this is so important, especially if you have oily eyelids and you don't want your eyeshadow to crease throughout the day. This will really help it stay for longer. 
Then I just kind of go where I'm going to be putting contour and bronzer just to like make it a little bit matte. And then the chin. And then just straight under the nose. Next, we're going to go into eyeshadow and I'm going to be playing with the Sephora Pro palette today. And I don't think I've done a tutorial with this palette, but this palette is unreal. It's definitely my best palette in my collection. Um, I feel like I've never really spent this much on an eyeshadow palette and honestly, it is so worth the money. So I really want to go for a fall look today. And so I'm going to take this color right here. It's like an orange color and I'm going to be placing that all over my lids first. The pigment is unreal. I normally just use one brush to blend all the eyeshadows out, so sometimes I just like to knock it off on the palette. Next, I'm going to go in with this color. It is the most perfect blending shade ever. So I'm going to start in the crease and bring it up as I blend out. So I did decide to get another brush just because I'm going to be doing lower lash stuff and I wanted like a more precise brush. So I'm going to be taking this really pretty burgundy color just right next to that orange that we used earlier. So I will say that this palette does have a little bit of fallout, but it is honestly so worth it. And this is why I like to keep my powder on while I do my eye makeup, so I can just wipe it off with my powder. So next I want to add a little bit of eyeliner, not like a super straight line, but I want it to be like kind of smudged out just because I'm not wearing fake lashes. And since this is a more dramatic look, I feel like it would look like there would be something missing if I didn't put eyeliner. So this isn't liquid, just a pencil, but I'm just going to smudge it out a tad. So the eyes are pretty much done. I just have to add mascara and then we can get into the face. So I actually forgot to add this product. It is the Brow Vo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. And basically it just holds your eyebrows really well. So I'm just gonna comb this product through my brows. So for mascara, I use quite a bit of different mascaras. So today I'm gonna be using the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit as well. I honestly think I'm running a little bit low on this product. So I think I might have to make a new purchase because I really really enjoyed this mascara it just made my lashes look incredibly long so another mascara from benefit that I love is the roller lash and I've probably gotten like three of these my whole life I always rebuy this mascara I love it if I were to choose between the bad gal and the roller lash I would definitely pick the roller lash just because I'm not a super big fan of flimsy mascara wands and I feel like the bad gal is a little bit flimsier than the roller lash. The roller lash just has like a more firm stick, so I feel like it's just easier to control. And this one's also really good at separating lashes. Then I'm just doing the bottom lashes. So now it's finally time to brush off all the powder. So for contour, I'm going to be using my self-made little Makeup Forever palette. This shade is just a more cool toned contour, so I really like to carve out my cheekbones with this. Gotta get the forehead and the jaw area too. So sometimes when I need a little bit more color, I'll go in with the Milani bronzer in Soleil. And it is a big bronzer, so it just has a little bit of shimmer to it, which doesn't bother me. I just put it in the hollows of my cheek, but nowhere else, like not my forehead or anything. I also contour my nose with this cool toned contour color. This is honestly the best brush to use when contouring your nose because it literally just fits in perfectly. It's literally just the brush you get in the Milani bronzer packaging. I feel like contouring my nose makes such a difference. So I like to layer my bronzers and I like to layer my blushes. So I'm going to be using this blush that is in the Makeup Forever self-made palette and just gonna be putting that on. So it is a lighter pink. And especially for the fall, I like to darken it up with Ofra's Raisin. And this is just a beautiful fall color. I know last year I was obsessed with this and then I lost it for a while and then I found it again. So perfect timing because hello fall. Kind of focus it where my bronzer is and not really on the apples of my cheeks. I feel like I always put a lot of blush on because I know it's just gonna fade off. So if I look a little crazy right now, just just, just you wait. 
So I don't really wear a highlighter anymore just because I feel like I'm kind of over it, but I definitely want to like kind of get back into it and like try out some products that I have in my collection because they're kind of just sitting there. But for now, I like the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder and I'm in the color four. Um, and this is just like a very, very, very slight highlight. It kind of gives you like that glow from within. I know this is kind of an old product in my collection, but I love this stuff. It is so beautiful. Sometimes I like to hit over the brow as well and a little bit on my nose. So for lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX Plush Gel Lipstick and it is in the color Breakup slash Rupture. And I love this color. I talked about it in my October favorites, but this is actually the most perfect like pink slash brown. And I love the formula because it's not super drying and like it's kind of sheer as well. So it's not something too overpowering. I know it doesn't look super sheer right now, but I literally went from like pale foundation lips to, you know, something on my lips. So that's probably why it's like such a big change. But literally you can just dab it on really quick and rub your lips together and it gives the most beautiful color. On top of it, I'm going to add the Fenty Lip Gloss. As you can already tell, it kind of has a gloss finish. Not a gloss finish, but not matte, but I like the Fenty Lip Gloss. So I'm just gonna add it over top. So I love a glossy lip. So guys, this is the complete look. This is my fall makeup, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more makeup and beauty, skincare, all that stuff, go follow me on Instagram because I post a lot on my Instagram stories and kind of talk with you. Sometimes I do hauls there too, so if you guys are interested in that, then definitely go ahead and scan this barcode and follow me on Instagram. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.